Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the PvP game mode in My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. I'm going to briefly explain the game mode, and then I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks in order to get as many wins as possible. So, first off, let's jump into the game mode. It is currently in the beta, or like in the testing phase, so it's only lasting till the end of September, and then things are going to change in the next season, so do keep in mind when you're watching this video. Depending on when you're watching this video, it could be completely different from what it is right now when I'm recording this. So first off, uh, this is not a live PvP. So you're not versing people in real time. You are versing people's pre-built teams. And then the enemy is going to be controlled by a CPU. So it's still PvP where like you verse someone's progress. But it's not like really competitive. Like the bot is going to do pretty much algorithmic things. If that makes sense. Which I'll explain in a bit. So you can cherry pick your enemies so that's tip number one with the refresh button you can refresh as many times as you want to find the right opponent you can see their rank their characters as well as their power level now of course you want to take advantage of finding the one with the least power level and one where you get most type advantage so make sure you do so check out your team's power level see what you're at and go from there now you build your own team as well to defend so when people find you if they lose to your own team then you actually get rewards such as this red currency, which we'll go into a bit. But you can set your team on the bottom left button here. My, this is my set team, 295,000 power. Uh, pretty whale-esque. I've upgraded quite a bit, two level 100 units. So yeah, that is the team that I am rocking. And uh, I don't know, really, it's not going to be too many wins or too many... Like, look at that, three losses here. I think this is mostly CPUs. I maybe have lost one here, but like you can see, I would never verse these 300,000 powers. Like I, I don't verse over my power level threshold. So, but here I won against a 275,000 off screen and that's just like passive income, I guess. You know, we love passive income. <laughs> now, um, you do get rewards once you rank up. Right now I'm expert two. So I'm right around near the middle, I would say. On the rankings, so I'm getting there. The people are actually already at 12,000. Uh, you would have to spend a lot of gems to get there at this point in time. Uh, but you'll get rewards once you break through each of these little rankings, which we'll go through in a bit. Uh, but here is the leaderboard. This only shows once you hit 12,000. So I don't know if this is a worldwide thing. You can double check for yourself. If you find this guy right here, then it's worldwide. But if it's just like a local leaderboard, then that's kind of cool. It means you don't have too many people to face. But uh, this is the only guy on my leaderboard that has over 12,000 points. And he must have spent a lot of gems. Because refreshing for the uh, PvP, it is a separate stamina bar, so that's really good. But it costs 20 gems to order to get one extra battle in, which is definitely not worth. Do not do that. I don't know exactly how long one try is or how long it takes to get an extra bar. But it's not that long. It's like 10 minutes or something like that. So do not do that. Save your gems. You get 10 capacity as the max. Um, and then, you know, make sure you do that when it hits max. So you can do as many runs as possible. Uh, there's no like daily things or anything like that. So just go at your own pace. Feel free to do log in like every 10 minutes or every three hours and do your PvP. There's no missions or anything like that. There ha are, however, rewards, like I said. So if we check out the rewards here... Uh, for every time you rank up, you get a certain amount of gems. So uh, when I expert three, when I get to expert three, I'll get 100 gems. Expert four, and it will, you know, slowly increase. Now, uh, I believe the legend part of this, so you can see legend 101, that's rankings, okay? So if you hit the number one in your leaderboard, you'll get 1,000 gems. Don't expect that. That's just like to show off, I guess. It's not really that gem friendly in a way. But at least, again, the stamina bar is separate to your actual stamina bar. So you're actually not wasting gems in order to do this event, which is great, or stamina. Uh, you do get extra gems once you hit a rank up as well, and uh, as well as the red currency. You don't get much, but it's something like I just got 40 gems for hitting Elite 1. You'll get 50 gems for hitting Top 1. Is Top 1 an actual ranking? Okay, it is. Okay, that's uh, good to know. So yeah. You get rewards as you play. That's also good. Now, the rewards. You get these red coins. These red coins, you can buy various things. The shop refreshes, I think, like every week. 
So, you know, you can get one silver ticket every week. You get these um, advancement items, which I recommend over the silver ticket, to be honest. Um, get these as well. So they're 300 each. And then you get like EX items, which I don't really find too much value on them because I did like a lot of the missions. So I have a bunch of them, but you can get them if you want. It's quite expensive. I'll probably get the silver tickets when I can as well. But it is not unlimited and it is quite a lot. 3,000, that's a lot of battles. I've Actually, I have reached 3,000. It's just that uh, I have never, I always buy the advancement stuff first. So yeah, that is the game mode right now. Now I'm going to give you guys some extra tips in order to get uh, really far into the leaderboard as fast as possible. So first off, you want to figure out who your fastest characters are. So by going to your character box, clicking this button, and then I think it's this one right here, you'll be able to see who's got your highest speed. So for me, it's Bakugo, Kirishima, and Endeavor, which is actually my main lineup right now. So you want to build the fastest team as possible. Having a speed advantage is probably the most important thing. Uh, you can get a speed in other ways as well. So through your memories, you can get extra speed. So I'm going to go through some memories that give you speed, like this uh, Togo one. This gives you decent speed as long as you have a female on the team. Uh, the uh, Momo and Todoroki one gives speed to green units. And then there's also SR memories that give you some speed as well. I'll leave in the description all the memory translations, but I am using the Froppy one. That's actually a good memory to increase speed as that will give you a 25% speed increase. And also, I believe, uh, lower the enemy's skill by 15%. I think that's what it is which is really, really nice, as long as your HP is over 50%. Just to have a look at what your memories you have and um, try to equip the ones with the best speed, okay? So, what is the next important thing after speed? Of course, power, stuff like that. But uh, that's obvious, right? That's not really a real tip. Uh, what I would also consider is debuffs. So, there are many debuffs that you can do, such as lowering speed. Like I said, speed is a very important thing. There are some units in here that can lower speed, such as Endeavor. With his AoE skill, he can lower speed by 10%. It's not much, but it is something. Um, you can use Momo, although I wouldn't put her in the main lineup. That's just my opinion. She does lower speed by 15% with her all skill. It's just that why would you use her in the main spot? You kind of want to lower the speed at the very start, while you have like everybody's at an equal footing. Because once you take out an enemy, that's when you start steamrolling because the bots will be wasting their skills as they go along and then they won't be able to skill chain or they won't be able to plus ultra, which is going to allow you to do priority moves like like skill chain, two skill chains, and uh, you'll get the quick, easy damage way faster than what they would do. So um, that also corresponds to low cooldown skills. So make sure you look at your characters and make sure they don't have too big of a cooldown or maybe realign what your skill chains are going to do and what skills you use first so that your cooldowns happen uh, very soon and you can get your skills back as soon as possible. Uh, in terms of other debuffs that are very important, uh, taunting is really, really good. It's almost impossible unless you're very, very weak against your opponent to kill an enemy's unit in one turn. So bringing a taunt unit can be very good. Uh, I've been using Kirishima for a long time here in PvP, like for the most time, just because he has damage reduction built in. So his taunt, it actually can, he can be really, really tanky, and he's a nice support for Endeavor. Uh, and then also, you want to use like um, condition debuffs such as Freeze and Burn to just get that little bit extra DPS. So Todoroki is a nice unit to have as he can freeze. And he can also burn. And he has AoE. AoE is another important thing, especially at the start when there's three enemies on the field to condition them, all three of them, or to freeze all three of them to ruin the skill chain. If you're faster, it can be a very, very clutch. And of course, triple damage is very good as well to the point where you can probably normal attack later on to kill an opponent. There's a lot of units that will, um, you know, do that kind of stuff like burn, freeze, uh, blind, all that stuff, okay? I wouldn't stay away from SR characters. So SR characters have very low stats. Unless you have it really maxed out, 
it's probably not worth it. I would almost, if you had like a UR that's level 80 and an SR that's level 80, it's probably best to run the level 80 UR as their stats are a bit better and probably their damage output is going to be a lot better. So even if your team doesn't cohesively work, say if I were just running All Might and Shigaraki, uh, the SR All Might here, and I had UR Shigaraki, and then I had like uh, Purple Bakugo, I would probably run Purple Bakugo and like... Um, Shigaraki over All Might and Shigaraki, even though All Might here is level 90 and my buckle goes at level 80. Okay, you can get away with SRs, it's just that you really need to upgrade them, and I'm for the most people out there, you probably haven't upgraded your SRs to that kind of status. And then one last thing is the mechanic for PvP here. So I'll go through PvP one match for you guys, since I have the stamina. First off, let's cherry pick our enemy here. We'll go with this 274 battle here. Oh, actually, there's a 264 here. Yeah, we'll take that. So here's my team that rocking, the one that I showed you earlier. Now, as the battle continues, you're actually going to do more damage. Uh, there is a mechanic where I don't know how much percentage it is, but your characters and your enemies' characters are going to do extra damage as time goes on. So that's just going to pick up the pace so you don't, like, you know, stay in PvP for a very long time. Now, as you can see, they automatically skill chain. Uh, first thing I like to do first is check whether I'm faster, and I am. And then to see whether or not I need to, like, uh, adjust the speed and stuff like that. Because I don't have to, I'm actually going to waste the Endeavor's action skill first. And also take a note, usually, actually, I think all the time, all your enemies are going to prioritize AoE skills first, okay? So a strategy could be, okay, I don't need to use Kirishima's taunt ability because what's the point of taunting AoE skills, right? So I could do this, this, and then the AoE skill. All right, so that's what I'm actually going to do. And I'm actually going to prioritize lowering speed here over the blind. Um, my first AoE skill is going to get rid of Hawks' dodge. Hawks is a very good character to bring as he forces your, your team to do kind of like this, where you have to use an AoE skill, which could mean, you know, one less skill to take a hit. As you can see, the AoEs, all AoEs. Unfortunately, he didn't target Kirishima. I was hoping he would target Kirishima. Uh, so Hawks is a very good unit. He's just a little bit fragile, as you can see by everybody's HP. But he is the fastest unit in the game. So if you have a maxed out Hawks, uh, you know, that is really, really good. So I'm actually going to do the rest of my skills. And I know that I'm first because I lowered speed. And I missed, of course. So now the taunt comes in. Because they all targeted Bakugo, these two are going to do weak damage. Of course. What? Okay. <laughs> Torn active, but they didn't care. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> they should target Kirishima, okay? Uh, here, if you're doing a plus ultra and your opponents are doing plus ultra, take a look at who is going first here. Uh, so Bakugo is going first. So I'm actually not going to plus ultra on him. I'm going to plus ultra on Todoroki. It's kind of beneficial that I'm actually also type advantage. Um, actually, no. Do not do that because... Oh, Chaco is another great character. She's always going to prioritize the heal ability, even if your enemy's HP is, like, very minor. Very, very minor. So, she's going to use her dodge. And so, if we used our ult, uh, plus ultra, uh, it would be dodge. Because her heal ability also provides dodge to everyone. I don't understand. What, is this a glitch? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I glitched it. To the point where my taunt does not activate. That's great. <laughs> and then if you're, if she has a uh, full HP, like some people like to put Chaco up front, she will always do this haunt ability. Never target a Chaco with your normals. Obviously, that is just make that just makes sense. We're gonna do the dodge here and uh, take out the uh, Todoroki. Make sure you look at the skill cooldowns of your opponent as well, like. See, I can see that next turn, Todoroki is actually going to get his skill back, which means he could potentially kill one of our units. And then if we take him out, nobody else can skill chain with him. So, like, if I took out Bakugo here, 
the next person that comes in will have all their skills, and then he can skill chain with Todoroki, which would be a bad idea, right? So, anyway, let's get in with our next turn. Bringing a healer is very, very good, I would say. Come on, can we kill? We should be able to. Oh, no. Oh, but we did. It doesn't matter. We're going to skill chain an AoE. This is actually okay. That was, that was such a weird thing. I don't know if it's because they have an effect, but that, that glitch should not have happened. Yeah, Kirishima should have been the one taking the hits. As you, that's just how you know it's in beta. <laughs> All right, see, so as you can see, it's taken me a while to kill an opponent. Let's figure out how long it's going to take to kill this Endeavor. He's, plus Ultra is coming up really soon, so we want to get rid of him ASAP. And he's almost dead. Uh, bye bye. Just like that, he's almost dead. And we killed him before he could get his plus ultra. Now, uh, I will target the uh, Bakugo. A chakra by itself is not that great. So, actually, let's let's target Ochako because I want to see how strong Kirishima is now, which shouldn't even be here to begin with. Oh, never mind. 7,000 damage for a counter. Your, like, normal attacks and things are going to increase. So, you can theoretically find, like, a stalling team to the point where you can start one-shotting everyone with action skills. I do, I haven't figured out that strat yet. I haven't seen anybody use that strat yet. So, uh, that's just, you know, theoretical. But uh, for the most part, you want to just take out ASAP and uh, get to the point where you can just outskill people with your skill chains and all that good stuff. But yeah, uh, that's going to wrap up today's video. I try to make that as short as possible, I promise you. If you guys did enjoy and this was helpful, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay busy. Peace out.